Oh my god! Hi guys! Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make this giant cookie mound. Oh my god, they look amazing. I'm actually following a tiny bit recipe. It's her peanut butter pretzel M&M cookies, but I added some Twix in there as well. I sort of like chopped and changed it a little bit. Not quite, I mainly followed the recipe. Um, but yeah, honestly, like they turned out amazing. I haven't tasted them yet. I'm going to taste them in a little while. But yeah, like the dough tasted delish. So if there's anything like the dough, I think they're going to be okay. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so if you'd like to see how to make these, in fact, not even how to see how to make these, because if you want to see how to make them, you might as well follow Tanya's video, because obviously hers is better, and I used her video and her blog. But um, I just thought it would be fun to just show you me making them. Like, I just thought it was a fun video idea. I haven't really done a baking video before. And yeah, let's roll the baking VT. First of all, you're going to need 325 grams of self-raising flour. Oops, it's hard to show. I'd spill it all over the place. You're also going to need 300 grams of caster sugar. Nice and sweet and sugary. Um, or if you're sweet enough, you can just go in without the sugar. Joke, you definitely need the sugar. Um, I've also got, well, Tanya's recipe said 200 grams of pretzels, but my bag only had 175. But it's okay, because I just like added a few more chocolate sweets. 200 grams of softened butter. I've gone for the salted type, because I feel like the extra salt will just, you know, add to the saltiness, the whole peanut butter and pretzel thing. Um, also, you're going to need one egg. 200 grams of smooth peanut butter. I actually have crunchy peanut butter and I thought about doing that. I think it doesn't matter. Like, if you have crunchy peanut butter, like, it will just add to the texture. And then, finally, Tanya's recipe says to use 200 grams of M&M's. And I only had, like, 160 grams, I think it was. So, anyway, I've added some Twix because I thought that would be, like, a really nice um, addition. The caramel, I feel like, will really go well with the saltiness and, like, the biscuits or the pretzels. Like, I don't know. I feel like Twix is going to go down a treat in this biscuit. So, yeah, I've got, like... Um, well over 200 grams worth. I think I had like 250 grams of um, like Twix and M&Ms, all of that good stuff to chuck in. Okay, so I've already lined two baking trays with baking paper. Um, I actually like put a little bit of butter on top because I like to extra grease. I've got trust issues, what can I say? I'm going to be mixing all of this with my K-Mix, my yellow, citrus yellow K-Mix. Um, it just makes life so much easier. So I'm going to plug it in, bundle it all in the bowl. Okay, so I'm going to start off by creaming together the butter and the sugar. Um, so the butter is really nice and soft room temperature now. Just going to go straight in there. And I'm just going to cream this together until it goes into like a nice sort of creamy, you know, whipped up sort of look. And then as soon as that's creamed together, I'm going to add the egg. So we're basically creating quite like a wet mixture, first of all. Um, and then we can start adding in the flour. Oh, I haven't plugged it in. I knew something was going a bit weird with that. Okay, here goes. Woo! Oh, okay, that's probably why it was being so weird. I think this isn't in properly. I haven't used this K mix in forever. And honestly, if I'm being completely honest, I've actually never known how to use it. I've always just winged it. I feel like I just literally want to lick that, but I feel like I shouldn't. Okay, so in goes the peanut butter. Yum. This is where it all starts coming together, I believe. And I also microwave my peanut butter a little bit because I wanted it to be soft and you know, I didn't want it to ruin the consistency of the dough. Make sure every last bit gets in there. Mm, I love peanut butter. Anyone else? And that is why you always pack an, a few couple of extra grams than you need because you'll always like lose a couple of grams because it's got stuck to the edge of the bottle. If you know what I'm saying? Okay, just going to cream that all together. Mm. My finger tastes so damn good right now. Okay, whilst that's mixing, I'm going to go in with the egg. <gasps> Dropped half the bloody yolk on the side, don't worry. Yum! At this point, it looks a little bit like a coffee cake mixture. Okay, so we're at the last step. All you want to do now is gradually add the flour, bit by bit, and Tanya said, if it gets stiff, add a splash of milk, so I'll make my mind up at the end if I feel like I need milk or not. So yeah, other than that, just gradually adding the flour, bit by bit, and then we can add all the fun stuff. Okay, here it goes. I'm just going to 
just gonna, if I can, put them. Let's do its thing. And then, a bit impatient, add a little bit more. Okay, so I think I'm gonna be needing a little bit of milk, if you ask me, just because it's sort of like, mm, mm, it looks a bit claggy and sticky. I feel like I need a bit of milk to bind it together better. But it's forming a really nice dough, like it's already forming a dough. But I don't know, I just like, I always like to add milk, I'm just all about the moisture, so I feel like if I can add a little bit of milk, I will, to be on the safe side. Damn, Gina. Like, maybe I don't need the milk, it's hard to say. Mmm, so peanutty. Oh my god, I had so much milk there, and I wasn't even concentrating. That was more than a splash. Pray for me. I just think a wet dough is better than a dry dough. Because the wetter the dough, the wetter the cooking, we all have a wet cookie, don't we? I'm just going to make sure that's fully mixed. I'd rather it was over mixed than unmixed. Is that look okay? Oh, I think I ate too much milk. Damn. I hate myself. That'll still make a dough, I'm sure. Hmm. Okay, oh, that's so good, that dough. So I'm going to add all the pretzels in. Oh, crap, just pour them all over myself. Mm, hopefully that's a nice little, like dry up mixture as well. Mm, it's gonna be so perfect. Wow. And I'm gonna let the K mix do that because I want these broken up and I had a hard time breaking them up myself. So if it breaks them up a little bit, that's all good. But I'll stir in the actual chocolate because I don't want that to get too um, fine. Go, big go. Perfect. That is what you call perfecto. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. And one more wow. I'm going to add all the Twix and all the m &Ms. I'm so excited. And then I'm just going to stir it in with a spoon. I would recommend using like a spatula, but I can't find anywhere. So I'm just going to stir it in roughly. Oh my God. Looks like one hell of a treat. How many cookies does this make? I forgot to say. I don't even know how many it makes. I hope it makes one million for this last forever. Make sure it's just all mixed up. Looking fresh. Oh my god. Mm. With the tricks as well, pal. Mmm. Tanya, how the hell did you not eat this whole bowl? I don't even want to cook these. This is so good. So, so yummy. I'll eat that after okay so now i'm just going to um use my hands and get this whole thing get out of the way oh i smashed a whole plate what's that like 24 years bad luck when you smash a plate <sighs> okay now i've got to be really careful that none of this goes in the biscuits try and be safe with this can't have anyone eating a bit of china okay so i'm just gonna use my hands Okay, mix is still in the bloody bag. Have you not learned from the last time, mate? Okay, so I'm gonna use my hands and get this into one big bottle. It's actually freaking massive. It looks bigger than Tanya's in the picture. Weird. Quite a sticky mixture. I don't know if that's because I added too much milk. Probably did, but it's still gonna work. It's still gonna make a big cookie in it. Well, little cookies. Let's just make one big cookie. And like I said, I think the stickier the better sometimes. I don't know. We'll see. We'll live and we'll learn. Okay, so then I'm just going to put all of this um, on some cling film, wrap it up and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. It's not just the biggest bowl of cookie dough you've ever seen in your life. Comparison next to my hand. My hands ain't that big, believe it or not. For a tall, gangly girl, my hands ain't massive. Oh, yes. That is what I'm talking about. Can to catch anyone? <laughs> Every day I get her coffee in the afternoon Only time we waking up when it's after two Last night we got stoned with nothing to do She said I got a lot of love but it's just for you Another day I'm skipping class cause she hates her school I'm always trying to mess it up but she keeps me cool Last night we drank wine with nothing to do She said I got a lot of love yeah. it's just for hey, you The sweetest love is when the past doesn't matter Nom, 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 nom. So we have eight on that tray and nine on that tray. So it's a total of 17. So I've made a lot more than Tanya. I'm really worried about they're all going to spread into each other. But YOLO! Straight in the oven they go! At gas mark 4 or 180 degrees Celsius. Okay, I'm so 
so excited. Here it comes. <gasps> Look how many I made as well. Damn, this is fun. Okay, do not spin them too much. Okay, so I need to go for a small one because I don't know if I pointed this out, but Daisy is actually, I faked these for Daisy turned out to work because she's doing the gosh bake uh, for Great Ormond Street. So I've helped to bake them. So these are for her work colleagues, um, which sucks because I won't eat them all. So I'm just going to take the tiniest little one. What is the tiniest little one? I'm just going to also finger them all, manhandle every single one. Jokes. My hands are so clean and I, I mean I made them so I think I'm allowed to at least touch them a little bit right at the end, am I not? Okay, here goes. Mmm. Mm. So crunch on the outside, which is what Tanya said. Mmm. Put goo on the middle, I feel like I'm just copying what she said. Oh wow. Oh my god. Mmm. I know what she means now. The pretzels do go chewy. It's a bit like, it's like chewy, sticking consistency in the middle, but like so crunchy on the outside. I can't even explain it. It tastes of like pure salty peanut fudgy caramelness with the Twix. It's so, 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 times a million so is good. Oh my god. I still have to give my dad some, but I just want to eat the whole thing. Dad! How can I not eat the whole thing? Dad! Dad! But you should quit and eat the whole thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyway. I'm going to see what this reaction is. Yes, come on. Quickly come down here and try one before I eat it all. It tastes like an angel's made them. Well, obviously an angel did make them, but you know what I'm saying. You know what, I'm just going to have to sign this video off because he's just not coming downstairs, fish. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a cookie up. It doesn't even work, but I said it. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm, 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 mm. Thumbnail time. And one thing's for sure, I'ma always be true Through the good times and bad times, I'm still here for you, uh Every day I get her coffee in the afternoon Only time we waking up when it's after two Last night we got stoned with nothing to do She said I got a lot of love, but it's just for you Another day I'm skipping class cause she hates her school I'm